Hi, I'm Bob Lichty, and we're going to talk about maintenance on clarinet. This particular clarinet is a Selmer CL301 clarinet manufactured by Con Selmer right here in Elkhart, Indiana. Uh, there's probably going to be two different kinds of clarinets. Most likely, your student clarinet is a composite or plastic clarinet. That's what we're talking about today. Um, there are wood clarinets that have a little bit different maintenance required. But today we're just looking at composite or plastic clarinets. All right, first thing to keep in mind when you're maintaining your clarinet, always, always, always take your reed off of here, okay? I don't want all of you getting sick. So always take your reed off. You can just wipe it off a little bit, and then hopefully you kept a reed guard, or if you didn't keep it, you got yourself a clarinet care kit. Inside those, there's reed guards as well. Either way, it's gonna work fine. Uh, make sure to put that in there, take the tip of the reed, put it down in first, and hold on to it. Reeds can break real easily, especially when you're young and starting out, so try and maintain good care of those. Mouthpiece, you might want to take the ligature off when you take the mouthpiece off. Take the mouthpiece off. Inside your care kit is going to be a mouthpiece brush. <clears throat> it's going to be the one that looks like this. Be sure to clean that out. You should do this every time you play, really. It's gonna keep germs and bacteria from growing, all that nasty stuff. So get that all cleaned out of there. You can then put the ligature back on, put the mouthpiece back in the cap, and you could go ahead and put that right back in the case. Next step, take the barrel off. Okay, put that away. Now, your care kit, more than likely, came with a swab, swab out the instrument, yep. Uh, for clarinets, usually it's gonna be a silk or in this case, kind of a microfiber cotton hanky swab. That's gonna work real well. It's gonna have an end with a weight on it. It's gonna be pretty obvious which end that is. And then this end, you're just gonna drop that through. And pull it through a few times, okay? I'll just show once. But you're going to pull that through a few times, get it cleaned out. Make sure that you pull it all the way through. Next step will probably be, again, it's going to depend on your teacher, but you're more than likely going to want to take the bell off. Take that off of there, set it away. Now, as far as other maintenance goes, when you're taking your instrument apart, putting it together, Lots of cork grease, all these corks, you're going to want to do that pretty regularly. It's also going to be a cleaning cloth. You don't have to clean the outside of your instrument all the time, okay? But at least once a week, you're going to want to do that. Um, more than likely, your instrument is going to have nickel silver keys, so you don't need to worry about silver polish, but you are going to want to keep those cleaned up, microfiber cloth, a good polish on there, keep them shined up. And then every six months or once a year, you're going to want to get all your pads checked, <clears throat> all your corks checked, all your springs checked, by a professional technician, okay? Always keep the instrument in the case. You'll figure this out faster than I do. How it goes in there. Keep everything in there, maintain, and you are all set. So that's the basic maintenance on your Selmer 301 clarinet made by Con Selmer here in Elkhart, Indiana.